I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about L-glutamine as a nootropic, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. L-glutamine is a conditionally essential amino acid and main precursor for the production of the neurotransmitters glutamate and GABA in your brain. Glutamine is the most abundant amino acid in your body and is involved in many of the functions in your body, including much of the activity in your brain. But L-glutamate is the most abundant amino acid in your brain, and the balance of these two, these two are critical for optimal brain function. Now the function of the glutamate and glutamine cycle is involved in protein synthesis, precursors for muscle growth, regulation of the acid-base balance in your kidneys, provides oxidative fuel for your intestine and immune system, it provides uh, nitrogen transport between organs, acts as a precursor to neurotransmitter synthesis, nucleotide and nucleic acid synthesis for glutathione production, and glucose metabolism. Now, L-glutamine supplementation is mostly talked about in the athletic and bodybuilding circles for its effect on group human growth hormone and muscle recovery after a workout. But L-glutamine is largely ignored by the nootropics community. L-glutamine is so critically important to the optimized brain that by watching this video, you'll understand why it may be an important addition to your nootropic stack. So let's dive in. L-glutamine is an essential amino acid and precursor for the production of glutamate. Glutamate is the most abundant neurotransmitter in your brain. As an excitatory neurotransmitter, glutamate is released from presynaptic cells and then binds to postsynaptic cells, inducing activation. Too much glutamate and neurons become overactive, causing a caustic environment that is hot, harmful to neurons and to cognition. To keep this process in check, glutamate is also a precursor to the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA. GABA works by preventing neural signaling in overexcited neurons caused by glutamate that can result in anxiety and depression. Now the balance between glutamate and glutamine has been identified in a, a host of body conditions or brain conditions like mental illness, uh, tumors, neurodegeneration, as well as a normal brain function. Now the precursor relationship between glutamine and glutamate and GABA is often referred to in scientific and research circles as the glutamine-glutamate GABA cycle. Glutamine is naturally synthesized from glutamate and ammonia in brain cells called astrocytes and an action catalyzed by glutamine synthetase. Newly synthesized glutamine is transferred to neurons and hydrolyzed by phosphate activated glutaminase to produce uh, glutamate, a portion of which may be decarboxylated to GABA or transaminated to aspartate. Now glutamate, the excitatory neurotransmitter, and GABA, the calming neurotransmitter, rely on this cycle to maintain homeostasis within your brain. Glutamine is, also modulates the synthesis of nitric oxide by, by contributing to the supply of its precursor arginine. When this cycle gets out of whack, things start to break down. And the re results can be particularly nasty and result in conditions like epilepsy, hepatic uh, encephalopathy, which uh, affects behavior, mood, speech, sleep, and the way you move. L-glutamine becomes conditionally essential amino acid in your body when it can't produce enough on its own. And you need to replenish the L-glutamine levels either through supplementation or food. Now, L-glutamine can be found in foods such as beef, pork, fish, eggs, milk, and dairy products, wheat, cabbage, beets, beans, spinach, and parsley. Well, first, L-glutamine is critical for, for the optimized brain. 
Glutamine is a precursor to the neurotransmitter glutamate in your brain. The balance of uh, glutamine and glutamate is crucial to an optimized and healthy brain. The normal cycling of glutamine and glutamate takes a huge amount of energy in the brain. Research estimates that the glutamine-glutamate-GABA cycle accounts for more than 80% of the cerebral glucose consumption in your brain. So when you're using nootropics like resveratrol or PQ2 to boost mental energy, much of that energy goes towards maintaining this glutamine-glutamate-GABA cycle. A disruption of this cycle results in all kinds of problems, including Ray syndrome, epilepsy, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, anxiety, depression, and alcohol addiction. One Korean study measured glutamate and glutamine concentrations in the prefrontal cortex of mice that were infused with an astrocyte toxin. And they used other inhibitors to disrupt the glutamine-glutamate cycle. Glutamate and glutamine levels decreased on the fifth day in the mice. The animals experienced immobility and a decreased preference for sugar, which is a sure indication of depression in mice. Direct infusion of L-glutamine completely reversed all of the impairments that were originally induced in these little animals. And researchers concluded that neuronal deficiency of L-glutamine causes depression. And the second way that L-glutamine helps the brain is it helps to prevent brain aging. Researchers have long been on the hunt to determine what causes the human brain to age. Recently, mitochondrial dysfunction has been implicated in the loss of brain function in neurodegenerative diseases and aging, leading to an abnormal increase in the excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate. A study at the New York University School of Medicine with 28 patients with mild traumatic brain injury and 22 match controls. The gray and white matter in the brains were measured using MRIs. And the study found that one year after traumatic brain injury, there was significant global brain atrophy, much larger than in the control subjects. The team noted the amount of brain damage from just a single concussion and that this type of injury was not exclusive to a severe blow to the head. Even mild injury can cause this kind of damage in the brain. Most of the damage was associated with disrupted glutamine-glutamate cycles and an abnormal increase in glutamate levels. The amino acid L-glutamine is the precursor to glutamate production in your body. Uh, L-glutamate gets converted to GABA. Glutamate is your body's most abundant excitatory neurotransmitter, which is responsible for attention span, brain energy, learning and memory, and staying, staying awake. An enzyme called glutamate decarboxylase converts glutamate to GABA. It does it with the help of the active form of B6, or uh, it's called uh, P5P. The amino acid taurine helps increase the communication and productivity of this enzyme. And zinc helps to release the GABA from its receptors. When this glutamine-glutamate GABA cycle works efficiently, you feel relaxed with no stress or feelings of anxiety. Detoxification of your liver results in more restful night's sleep. Focus, concentration, memory, and mood all improve. During times of chronic uh, long-term stress caused by physical exertion or illness, glutamine levels in your body can drop by 50% or more. Supplementing with uh, L-glutamine can improve your quality of life, increase energy levels, reduce muscle aches, improve digestion and gut health, improve quality of sleep, reduce pain and fatigue. And when you balance glutamine levels in your brain, you feel relaxed and calm. Cravings for sugar and alcohol will decline. L-glutamine will help in recovery from workouts and improve performance. You may find it easier to lose weight. Many neurohackers use L-glutamine to help heal leaky gut syndrome and reduce the symptoms of Crohn's and celiac disease. As a nootropic, L-glutamine can help improve alertness, concentration, focus, memory, and mood. 
Alkalutamine was identified as a neurotransmitter several decades ago, and there's been a lot of research on alkalutamine published since, but most of it's focused on strength training and maintaining muscle mass in athletes, and for people healing from surgery or recovering from illness. But alkalutamine can be a powerful nootropic as well. Now I've got a couple of other clinical studies over on Nootropics Expert uh, that you can take a look at. Click through to the studies themselves. One of them is on L-glutamine and how it increases human growth hormone. And then I've got another one on how L-glutamine improves cerebral performance. Most people don't get enough glutamine from food alone. And, um, and this is why adding L-glutamine to your nootropic stack can boost your immune system, improve your ability to fight infection and diseases, and boost cognition. The recommended dosage of L-glutamine is 2 to 5 grams a day. Serious power athletes often dose up to 10 grams of L-glutamine per day. L-glutamine is considered very safe when, take, when taken in normal recommended doses. Now, rarely do people experience side effects like nausea and vomiting, fat flatulence, abdominal pain, constipation, hemorrhoids, dizziness, depression, skin rashes, insomnia, increased sweating. Now, remember the, the balance between L-glutamine and glutamate and the glutamine-glutamate GABA cycle is critical for optimal health. Some recent research has shown that L-glutamine can stimulate st uh, tumor growth. So if you're dealing with any form of cancer, you should avoid using L-glutamine. And if you're dealing with cirrhosis of the liver, you should stay away from glutamine. If you have severe liver disease that includes difficulty thinking or confusion, it's called, actually called hepatic uh, encephalopathy, you shouldn't use L-glutamine. If you are allergic or sensitive to monosodium glutamate, or MSG, you may be sensitive to L-glutamine because your body converts it to glutamate. And if you have a severe mental disorder, including mania, or frequently have seizures, you should also avoid L-glutamine. L-glutamine, as a supplement, is available in tablet, capsule, and powder form. The most commonly available form of L-glutamine as a nootropic supplement is called free-form glutamine. Transalanyl or alanyl L-glutamine is an amino acid attached to another amino acid which aids, aids in the digestion of the supplement. If you're using it to boost athletic performance and speed recovery, both forms of L-glutamine are best taken right before or right after a workout. Using it with small meals before or after your workout session can help support your metabolism and weight loss goals and will assist in muscle building, recovery, and maintenance. So my nootropics expert recommendation for L-glutamine is two to five grams a day. And that's my report on L-glutamine. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for L-glutamine or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles and all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using L-glutamine, please use the comment section at the bottom of the article over on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. If you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.